Hello everyone, welcome back to Journey Beyond the Abyss. I decided to try moving the chat up into the upper corner. We'll see how it works up there. And uh, that way I don't need to mess around with it at the start of every episode. So, between episodes, I did not figure out what's going on with the blood. I can't solve it. My suspicion is that it's something to do with the immersive engineering pipes. I've switched it to just... Um, Extracting with a good old-fashioned extraction pipe. If I head on down to the other end. Oof, game is a little bit slow and laggy today. Yes, yeah, so if I run on down to the blood bank, we'll see that... Uh, huh. I'm not getting any audio from the game, am I? Ah, hello, Blood Devon. Welcome. Yes, I've not figured out the mystery of why the bloodline, the red line, is not pouring. And also, I think my audio settings are janked up somehow. Hold on. Hold on. Da, 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 da. Yeah, that's real tech audio. So is it just the game settings that's not working? No. I don't know. I don't know. Well, uh, no, it, it is literally... I don't see the audio balancer from the game audio moving at all on OBS. Well, the game is muted today for unknown reasons. Unusual. Just mystery. Anyway, yes. So, we don't know why the blood isn't working. We don't know why the audio isn't working. But let's move on regardless. Uh, it'll the blood bank will empty itself out into the pipeline and come on over every time I go and visit it. So the connection is good. And like I already have a bunch of slime over there. So I, I guess if nothing else, we've made the process of emptying out the blood bank much easier. Yep. Yep. Here's a hoping. In any case, so what to do today? Well, it might be time to finally build a second diesel engine. Yeah, that might be what we do today because at this point we're getting to the point where we're running so many excavators off of this one that if we make any more, then it'll eat into our main copper excavator that we never ever want to slow down ever. So I'm thinking that, uh, yep, we just need to start making more blocks of steel. So. Let's go with our good old fashioned uh, 16 blocks of iron recipe. Yep, yep, we need more. And two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine blocks of charcoal. Stacks of charcoal, I should say. To pair with that to make us some steel. Make sure and check that the pulsar is turned off. And I think that uh, once we have a new diesel generator up, then my immediate project will be to uh, go and get an excavator on coal and make some automated steel. Then we never really have... Well, you know, I could... I could go right for an excavator for coal. We only need to run it a little. I guess we can kind of work on that project simultaneously a little bit. Because... Um, Immersive engineering projects are relatively fast now that we have most of the blocks automated. So let's see here. What do we need for... It would be an excavator and a crusher. Yes, yes, the jank pulsar, which does work. So to make an excavator, we would need one redstone, nine light, and five heavy, as well as three radiator, but that's easy. Yeah, we can we can kind of afford it now, you know. So five heavy, one redstone probably, and nine light. I also know that we're gonna want a crusher, which is gonna need eighteen 
light and 18 redstone in order to make the hoppers. We might as well get on that too. That's the hardest part of a crusher. How's this going? It's a melting down. Yeah, making steel is such a slow process. We might have it automated by the time we have enough to make a uh, to make another diesel engine. All right, so I might have enough glue on hand. Hmm. Did I turn the iron back on? Yes, I think I did. Ah, yes, I also changed around how the iron work. I just uh, went and um, I added void pipes to these so that they can't overflow. And I've laid it out so that um, iron will be the determining resource on when it stops producing. It'll just, it doesn't care about nickel. Nickel is just a convenient side product. And uh, it'll, it'll, it'll only shut off when it's full of iron, sufficiently full of iron. And all I did was I just uh, went over and I changed the colors of the redstone connectors on the, on the um, extraction side. And then, of course, combined them into one signal on this side like you saw. Very easy process, took 50 seconds. So make a bunch of hoppers chests. Always forget that it requires chests. Would not be a craft if I didn't, and I need more chests. Well then. Uh, yeah, oh, we're just short of the glue too. Well, how's our steel mixing? I could probably start pouring it. Just get her going. And... Right, I need to make glue. All right, so... We are probably going to need more clay. You know what? I forgot to make that clay automation. That's a side project we can be working on, all right. That is a side project. So what do I need to make the centrifuge? If JEI will cooperate with me. Yeah, that's just a sturdy casing and a little bit besides. That's real easy. So we just need to make a sturdy casing real quick. And that means making a ton of bronze. Or melting a ton of bronze in any case. But yeah, here we go. So if I take 21 of these to 63 of the gears, that'll make us a ton of bronze. And we can just start pouring that out. Yeah, it's bothering me that I'm not uh, that I'm not getting game audio. It feels weird playing without it. Hold on, let me let me try something real quick in my volume mixer. No, Java's not muted. Sound sound settings. Uh, manage sound devices. Yeah, my my audio is working on my computer itself. Hmm. Da, 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 da. Yeah, Realtek audio is set to default. Java is set to use default sound. I don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea. It is disturbing as all hell, though. Hmm. Ah, good. The steel is indeed pouring out just as we would like. How many blocks of steel do we have in storage so far? 
Let's see here. We have the six here. So that's going to be 10 more after that. We have, so we're going to have 25 in total. How many do we need to make the four generator blocks? Let's see, three, six, nine, 12. So we need 48 just for the generator blocks end of it. And then the connect dynamos, that's going to be 20 more. So we need a bit more than a stack of steel blocks to make a single diesel generator. It's definitely a bit of a grind. Yeah, I think we're going to end up finishing an automation of steel before we finish uh before we finish creating all the steel. At this point we're just kind of waiting on the bronzed alloy so that I can uh, make that centrifuge. Yep, yep. And that's kind of why if possible, you want to use your 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 first diesel generator to help you automate steel. <laughs> At least get you to that point, you know? Use it to the utmost. Okay, let's turn this off, switch it to bronze, get those four bronze blocks. Also, I think I need to put more bronze ingots into the crafter, don't I? Yeah, it's a bit slow. Tis a bit low, I should say. That is not bronze, that's electrum. That's the bronze. It might need more electrum in order to craft heavy engineering blocks. Um, I should have some silver somewhere in here. Yeah, there's a stack. So then if I just take a little bit of gold. Keep on casting our bronze out. Yeah, I don't know why the game audio isn't, um, if you're wondering, it isn't that OBS isn't capturing it either. It's literally not playing on my headphones at all. Minecraft is acting as if it has been muted, when I assure you it has not. Oh, we're just like one ingot of gold short. Dang. And I kind of want to keep some gold just in case, too. So I guess we'll just do 31 and 31, kind of a lame mix. But I want 32 gold in case I need to craft more pipes. What do you mean, did Minecraft say no sound? Um, Java didn't even show up in my volume mixer, if that's what you mean. Yep, just completely fill the dang smeltery up. Yeah, it was it was behaving as if um as if Java is just sending to a completely different audio source or something. Which has the potential to be what's happening, I suppose. Hmm. I don't know, man. I don't know. It is bizarre. But yes, here we are. We should now have four blocks of bronze, and that should be sufficient for me to go and make a casing to make the centrifuge. If we just put that in there, then we should get casing, yes. All right, and so from there to make the centrifuge, We just need a bunch of gold, copper, some light engineering blocks, basic stuff. One, two, three, four light engineering blocks. That looked like 
12-ish gold, two pieces of glass. And I think that might have been it, really. Ah, oh, no. Six copper. Okay, make centrifuge. Now get those hoppers queued up once again. Just so we don't forget where we are in that process. Now, let's go and finish setting up our clay automation. So first of all, I need to double check, did I remember to filter the pipe properly? Let's see here. Uh, need to get under it. Should have put it up along the ceiling. Let's see, that's redstone, glowstone, gravel, sand, and clay ball. Cool. Cool beans. All right, so. The first step is that it's just going to take off of there. It'll be receiving sand. And I don't think I'm going to use hoppers on this one. I'm going to use the filters in these extraction pipes because there's a couple of places that I'm going to want to send goods. Uh, I'm also going to need clay pipes, right? I should have a couple here. Just take some. Cool. And I'm going to need those clay pipes because I'm going to need auto crafters. Because, yeah, I'm going to want to save some of the side products. Uh, that can wait, though. That can wait. So, the first step is that we just want to give this thing power. Let's just uh, take a good old-fashioned power nipple, take our HV cable. And we'll just put that right on the top. I said we'll put that right on the top. I swear, what the hell? I think I might rely on audio cues to help me with the with the parkour jump subconsciously or something. All right. There we go. Yep, that should be receiving power. And now, temporarily, let's shut off the output line there and uh, create an output line here just so we can start filling up with sand and start seeing all the products. Yes, see, the centrifuge doesn't always get product out. And when it does, it doesn't always get sand. It sometimes gets other things. So we're going to want a line down here that is going to be just whitelisting all the things that we don't want to keep and sending them right off to the void, which we need to plug there. And uh, that is just going to be always on. And we're also going to want a wooden pipe just coming off the side here. That will be for only the clay balls that are going right into storage, of which we already have a few. Let's move this out of the way. Yeah, move that all the way into the corner. Let it think about what it's done. And we're just going to need an iron pipe down here. And give that a wrench over into the appropriate direction. Another pipe plugs. Technically, I don't need this one, but it looks pretty. I do need that one, however. Yes. Okay, and that will again be a one that is simply always on. So, that's emptying out the rocks that we don't like. Uh, these sandstone rocks are sadly useless. 
They can't be crafted into sandstone. They only act like regular rocks. Uh, I guess this raw netherrack chunk, but that can use any rock. Yeah, they're just they're just essentially an ore dictionary of regular rock. Granite is common enough. I won't keep it. The sandstone is useless. However, these three, andesite, limestone, and diorite, I might just keep those. I might just keep those and make use of them. So, on this side, we're going to have one that is blacklisting all these rocks, as well as clay. No, I guess it might as well just whitelist the ones we want. That way, if I accidentally missed any products, which I don't think I have, but in case I did, then uh, it'll it'll just be sitting in the centrifuge and I'll realize it when the centrifuge jams. Which is one way of debugging, I suppose. So this way it'll be diorite, limestone, and andesite. And eventually we're going to want to make um, some auto crafters for this, eventually meaning right now, yes. So, do I have any of those old crafting benches left from when I made a ton? Hello, 12th Century Fox. Uh, it's, it's a, um, it's a not too terribly late night stream for me. It just, it's, uh, 1.30 a.m. Ah, there's some. And, um, it's also a technical difficulty stream. Kind of like you had in your in your little miniature extra episode that you put out. <laughs> Only as far as I can tell, uh, mine's legit technical difficulties and not, you know, mental difficulties. Because uh, I can't figure out why the heck the sound isn't working. Our game has no audio. But uh, yes, I'm just finally finishing that automation for the centrifuge real quick. And uh, okay, I have those. So I now need to make some andesite, which, hey, would you look at that? We have this andesite rock over here. We can we can just make that real quick. Not that I think I'm short on andesite, but just general principle. Yeah, I'm I'm definitely not short on andesite. But now we'll have infinite andesite anyway. Whether we want it or not, we'll just we'll, we'll just probably ignore that box. It's really the infinite diorite that'll be helpful. But yes, we do need to make some more masonry brick. And thankfully, masonry brick is nice and easy. Nice and easy and quick. There we go. But yes, Fox, your your series is going wonderfully. I'm incredibly amused, even when you forget to turn your mic on. You're doing good work, man. All right, and I think we're just going to need these as well. And that should make the second stage of the crafting tables. Good. And then I'm going to need a bunch of planks, which I'm not sure. There we go. And I'm also going to need a bunch of iron, which let's restock the chest a little bit. Oops. There we go. If I can just limp on over. And there we go. And then into crafting tables, good. And finally, we then take it over to our gasoline with, I need to make some more sticks as well as grab another bit of cobble. 
Let's just make a stack of those. As well as grab a stack of cobble, yes. And then we can just make all of those wonderful wood gears. Because we can never have enough of those. And then from there, move them up to stone gears. Now I'm going to need six of these. We might as well leave the cobble in there. And there we go. Auto workbenches. Cool. I'm also going to need a diamond pipe. Yeah, I think I can just use one. Might as well grab some remaining gold pipe. And then over here. So now what we want to do is we want to go off of this. So our diamond pipe will just go here. And I need to then take a filter sample of all of these and just dupe, dupe. Yeah, we might as well do it like that because then I can take the clay transfer pipes like so. And that'll be the insertion point for these things. Need a little bit of pipe plug on that. Just to ensure that the line's not strictly necessary, but uh, looks prettier. Then our three auto crafting tables, just like so. And make sure that we get the things sorted into the appropriate direction. So we'll put diorite down green, limestone down blue, and andesite down yellow. And I need to grab some more andesite. Now we put into this and we just fill out the pattern to turn it into our products. Let's see, it was limestone down blue, yep, yep. Just like so. And that leaves diorite down here, cool. Just like so. Now just, I'm gonna give this a couple of pulsers just to speed it up. Make sure that this one keeps the machine clean. And because these are clay pipes, we can put voids on them for safety. I'll just leave those connected. No particular reason why. And then we need chests. We need more chests. Did I make any more nougats? I don't think I did. Shoot. And I have a bunch of stuff in the smeltery right now. Yeah. Well, I should have left that on pour. Should have left that just on pour. Let's pour out most of that bronze. Actually, wait, was it? Let's get exact change and then turn it all in the blocks. Yeah. No, stop, you two. I said stop. There. The manual stop. Okay, okay, oops. Now that should be still changed up to an ingot because I let it fully pour out, right? Right, cool. Now just pour these out manually. I guess that's the downside. This thing doesn't like stopping. Hmm. Wait, what? The pulsar's off. Why are you... 
Well, shoot. I guess we're just going to let it go. Yeah, I don't understand this thing's behavior. I do not get the new smeltery taps. They don't like me. Well, regardless, let's... Put some iron into there. Get the system fully stopped again. Yeah, I know. I know. And it's not receiving direct redstone signal. It's not like it's... I, I don't know. I don't get it. I really don't get it. The good news is that it works perfectly well as when it's on Pulsar. And it should be less painful to make a ton of nuggets now. Yeah, this is really the dank stream. <clears throat> should call this episode the Young Turks because I'm being jank Uger. Yeah, at least nuggets now pour consistently. So that's good news, at least. All right. That'll make me a nice collection of chests. All I need to do is feed it wood, feed it water. And we'll have lots of storage to use again. I believe these go five at a time, right? Yeah, so that'll make the 25 chests I loaded it for. Okay, now turn off. Yeah, this time it worked. No idea. No idea. Now, just to be sure that it doesn't start auto-pouring like crazy again... Get it down to just one, two, three. I don't know, Devin. If I knew, I would be a much happier man. And it looked like that one poured twice. Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know. It just doesn't like me. It doesn't like having consistent behavior. Regardless, let's just pour everything out to ingots. Just let it go. Um, oh, wood. That should solve it. It hates us, precious. Ah. <sighs> Yes, I think that after I get the centrifuge system together, I will, um, I'll cut the stream there and I will go and play with my settings. And then I'll probably come back in like a half an hour, hopefully having figured it out. And, um, when it comes time to upload this to, um, to the channel, ah, hello, job dancing. Uh, we have some technical difficulties right now, so I'll be concluding the stream shortly. But uh, thank you for stopping by. Yeah, let's see if I can... Uh, like so. Yeah, cool. That'll do. So then I can dupe. Dupe. And... Dupe. And that is emptying out into storage. So now we have automated diorite cobble. We have automated uh, limestone cobble. And we have automated andesite cobble. Just as a side product of our clay automation. Isn't that a lovely thought? Now, there is one last logic system that I need to get together on this thing. And that is I need to make 
a system to split the output of the crusher evenly between our um between our storage and our uh our centrifuge here so that should be relatively simple let's see there's so many gates in the way that i think i'm just going to take it off of uh over here because i figured out that it was gates causing uh crossovers to be janky and i'm out of blue cable but we'll just use white can't be asked oh i need both colors don't i yeah i need both colors for this well it's lovely to see you here jop dancing how you been I've only seen you on the stream very occasionally. It's always lovely having having uh, a face that isn't just one of one of the usuals. Not that the usuals are unwelcome. Yep. We always need more cable. Okay, so I'll just take it down there. Cool. Come on, let me up. Yeah, I think I'm definitely using some sort of audio cue to help me with that jump. <laughs> that uh, wall jump. Okay, over there. Oh, no, that connects. We don't want that to connect. Okay, I might need to get the black cable. Yeah, I think I need to get the black cable for this. You know, let's just easier. Yeah, okay, and it looks like using the pickaxe just deconstructs the whole pipe every time. I wish I had some sort of pipe tool that would just like take off wires and gates but leave pipes. But I don't think that's in the pack. Anyway, let's start with the blue wire. Just like so. No, far end. Oops. All the way up, please. Yeah, we always need more cable. You're not wrong. And this is... Uh, Wrong pipe. Oof, I am frazzled by these technical difficulties. Just a little bit frazzled. Losing my cool, man. Losing my cool. Well, hello to you two and welcome. It's just good to see you, man. So we're just going to need to run that all the way on down over there. Because, yeah, then our black cable can be right there. So I think I need another gate on this. I guess I can use this one. Yeah. No, I need... Uh... Yeah, okay, okay. So that is going to say when item traversing... Emit blue signal. And you are going to say when blue signal, single pulse. And then normally I would say just invert the invert the behavior with a white cable, but unfortunately there's already a white cable on there. Well, yes, it's journey beyond the abyss. Journey Beyond the Abyss is uh, is a little bit different. I might not have enough black cable. I mean, I guess we could see, but to be sure, let's make a few more. I mean... I've been playing JBTA for a while. You should know by now that... Uh, this ain't your mama's vanilla Minecraft. This ain't your daddy's game anymore at this point. 
We have all sorts of fun toys to play with now. There we go. Oh, I'm making it more complex than it needs to be. Because I'm making a uh an industrial process for for um processing cobble into sand and clay when I could just spend a ton of power to excavate it instead. But anyway, anyway. So now we need to put the black cable on here. And you are going to have a behavior saying when item traversing emit black signal. Wrong type. Wrong way, I should say. And yeah, I do need to change how this is laid out too. It's blue pipe wire. I can just let it go. Yeah, we need to fix our routing a little bit on that one. There we go. Bridge it onto there. Indeed. Cheap on power, and it gets us some very useful side products. Hmm. You know what? I can probably just bridge it over there, right? Right. And then I can run it down there. Cool. And unfortunately, it is going to need another gate. Well, that's not really unfortunate. Gates are dirt cheap. Mm -hmm. And I do find this fun. So you are going to say on black signal, single power pulse. So this is saying that uh, whenever this pipe sends an item, it sends a black power pulse, which will pulse this item, which will send a blue power pulse, which will send this item. So all we need to do then is prime the pump with just a manual little like that. And now we should see it going back and forth. And that will be splitting our output of the crusher uh, 50 50 with half of it going into storage and half of it going into the centrifuge. Now, what we need to determine is is the centrifuge running faster than the output? Yes, and it's very pretty too. I like the way that, like, one pulsar, then one pulsar, then like you can see it switching back and forth, and it has this kind of blinking Christmas lights look to it. I definitely love how these logic wires look once you get a more complex device going. Okay, and it looks like, well, it doesn't help that um, this chest probably had time to load up a ton. So let's empty out the chest. And now let's see, once it fills up a little bit. Why is it not filling up? No, why are you not? You have power. D okay, let's fill that up and Huh. You're receiving gravel. You're receiving power. What? What is your problem? Oh, you're receiving redstone signal from something. Why are you receiving redstone? Contains less than 75%. Then... Where are you receiving redstone from? That logic shouldn't be active oh no wait there it is yeah you're saying when white pipe signal off redstone signal on so then where are you receiving redstone signal from hmm what is your major malfunction let's let's 
Yeah. You are receiving white pipe signal. Oh, you're disconnected from there because I messed with it. And you're disconnected now because you have a gate attached to you. Okay, cool. I, I see. I see. I just need to figure out... Uh, yeah, there's a free space back there, I guess. So what's the behavior on this? Black pulse. Cool. Yeah, you need that crossover right there in order to transmit your signal properly. Okay, and it was just showing that it was it had white signal because it was a render error. I gotcha. I gotcha. So now I just need to kind of sneak the gate onto the back end of the pipe over there if I can reach it somehow. There you go. And you're gonna say single power pulse on black signal, reprime the pump. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, it's, it's, um, it's logic. That's not strictly science, but it's science adjacent. Okay, and once again, let's empty out the chest and let's see if it's how the centrifuge is keeping up. Can it process faster than it's being fed? It looks like it's really close. I might want to give this thing some speed upgrades. Which, this is the first device we've built that can accept uh, force for speed upgrades. But in the meantime, we're just going to leave it. We're just going to leave it. We'll let that build up. Okay, so. Uh, Jop dancing, as you might not be able to tell, we don't have sound right now. Something has screwed up in Java, or in my audio settings, or somewhere. And it is bothering the hell out of me. So, now that we've completed that little chore... I am going to go off and I am going to try and debug the problem. I will, if I can't fix it, I'll be back in like an hour. Hopefully I'll be back before then. So, I'll see you all in a minute. I'm just going to try and fix whatever the hell is going wrong. I'll see you soon. Hello once again, everybody. Welcome back to Journey Beyond the Abyss. Sorry about that. We have audio now. Huzzah! All right, so, 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 over at our centrifuge, we have clay coming in now, and that should make our life significantly better. Yeah, we've already got a little bit of it built up, and yes, 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 I don't know what went wrong, Blood Devon, I just, um, I rebooted Minecraft, and yes, Journey Beyond the Abyss takes that long to boot up. <laughs> But yes, all I did was I rebooted I rebooted JBTA and um, restarted the stream, and here we are. Turned it off and on and again. All right, let's get ourselves kind of sorted out once more. Ugh, we're getting really low frame rate, though. This is awful. But I suppose that's to be expected. I'm kind of, uh, I'm kind of living in a very machinery dense area. Hmm. I should put an excavator on that redstone sooner or later. Should. Sooner or later. Yes, yeah, so let's just make some more redstone blocks so that I can, uh, get those clay balls coming out. And yeah, we are going to use redstone blocks for it, because why waste a lever? Even though putting these redstone blocks on causes some sort of lighting error on these. Indeed. Indeed. It is the most common tech support fix for a reason, and the first thing I tried for a reason. Ah, I already put that on. Yes, watch, when we put this on, suddenly the lighting on the silo messes up, but what you going to do? You're going to put a lever on it if you don't want lighting errors, but that would be expensive. And I'm cheap. Uh, 
All right, so. Now, our next step was we were in the middle of making glue. That's why we got sidetracked by clay, yeah. Uh, how's the smeltery doing? Smeltery's clean. Sweet. So let's turn that off. And let's, uh... Let's see here. Let's make, like, maybe 7, 14, 21 blocks of bronze just for the sake of it. Oh, I had some Electrum in... No, I didn't have some Electrum in there. That's the Electrum I made. Sweet. Uh, yeah, I turned those off. Just in case we need some more, uh, some more casings, you know? Might as well have the blocks on hand. And after that, let's get some steel melting and turning into blocks. Because that will be the... That will be the big thing to be making right now. So, that's 7, 14, 21, 28. I mean, we are, like, halfway there to making a smeltery already. Huh. So, I guess these three steel are infected or something. Good to know. But yeah, we're definitely, we're definitely, uh, making good progress. On that diesel engine. Yes, I know, we still need more. And we will be making more. I'm just saying that, uh, we don't have all that far to go. It would be reasonable to just, um do this with charcoal instead of going for automated steel if we had to. If we desperately needed more power now. I want to get at least one more queued up. I should put just like a mechanical hopper on this thing for fast loading. Meh. Okay, by now I should have some more steel or some more clay. I should have four stacks of clay balls laid out and ready for... True. True, true. And the glory of... Uh, the glory of auto steel will happen one way or another. Because, yeah, I'm going to need auto steel for the... Um, for the mechanical artisan, I'm gonna need auto steel for a whole bunch of other things. Hmm. So yeah, we'll get there. We'll get there. Worry you not, we will get there. So we're gonna need a stack of slime. And we're also going to need a stack of wood to turn into pulp. Creosote burner is kind of gradually chewing through it. We're getting close to a tank full of creosote. All right, and... I think this should take 16 buckets of water in total. But I'm not sure. Yeah, it's gonna. So then, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that should be enough water. We're also going to need some clay blocks for the squeezer. Can the squeezer make a... 
Well, what we need to make is liquid clay. Yeah, what's the recipes for that from the squeezer? It can just out of this, but blocks still make more sense. Still, that's good to know for future automation purposes. That I don't need to make a like a uh, a clay block machine just for just for the sake of uh, turning it into liquid clay. Yeah, I think the clay does five at a time, so twelve should give me sixty with a little bit of change. Also, let's just take that out. Not sure why I have that in here. Just go away. This thing is kind of building up just miscellaneous clutter, as personal use carpenter tends to do. All right. Like that, like that, and like schmat. And then we just fill it up with clay. And that will make us the glue. A lovely excess of glue, I believe this will be, for the purpose that we are making it. But a lovely excess is kind of what the doctor ordered. Also, I think I'm going to need to make some more HV wires. So for that, I'm gonna need, we'll use this infected steel, along with like 17 of this. And then just 20 aluminum. Make that into wire. It's already set to wire, cool. Wait, did I? I did. I put a bunch of wire into here already, cool. Well, that'll make more for later. And then I should just need like 16 sticks. And we'll make that after the hoppers. Not clear it out when we don't need to. All right, so. Uh, yeah, that'll make nine because I only have exactly enough redstone engineering blocks. Always good to have a limiting resource giving you exactly what you need. Yeah, and now we have a ton of glue built up for future use. That's wonderful. I wonder, do you think I should automate glue fully at one point or another? For that matter, do you think I should fully automate something like hoppers or... You know, I guess the thing to fully automate would probably be furnaces. Because I need a ton of them for uh, making smelteries and the like. Why do we have only four hoppers? You're right. What was wrong there? Okay, so... Need glue, need iron. Chess! Of course. <laughs> right. I always forget the chess. I'm sure I would have noticed that on my own eventually. Eventually. Okay, let's just... All right, so now... Uh, let's lay out the rest of what we're going to need for a crusher first. And let's also get a, let, let's get one of these out. Make us an industry in a box. So, crusher. Just remind me, that's going to be eight steel fence, 10 light engineering. I think I was taking equipment out for a excavator first, but we'll we'll just um going to need at least one more redstone. There we go. So, eight feel steel fence, 10 steel scaffolding, 
I should have some scaffolding in storage. Steel fence, however, I might be short on. Yeah. So there are steel rods. Do I have any more of those in anywhere? Uh, not looking like it, so let's go make some. Just, yeah. 50. All right. Switch over to those. Do I have any in here? Ah, I do. Cool. All right. And I think that's also going to need... How's this doing? Is that still pouring? It do. Okay, cool. I think I'm also going to need this. And then steel fencing. Why did it... I, I guess this must be infected. Well, away with it. And look at that. Exactly steel, eight steel fences. Nice supply of rods for later. And that should be exactly one crusher. So, ten of those. One of those. Ten of those. Eight of those. Nine of those. And now we're just down to the redstone engineering block on, uh, yeah. So now we're back to building up for an excavator. So for that, we're going to need 15 sheet metal and six scaffolding. There's a scaffolding. I have a little bit of sheet metal in storage. Uh, do I have any just steel plates? Cool. There we go. And then all I need is the three radiator blocks. Uh, why am I holding on to andesite rocks? Probably from when I was setting up filters on the... Yeah, that's all from, from there. Cool. Clean out my inventory a little bit. So then I'm going to need... Why am I... Ah, because I'm sheet metal. Yeah, cool. All right, so three radiator blocks. Radiator. Ah, didn't you miss having this lovely symphony of machines in the background when we were without? Yeah, I definitely needed to fix that because this is essential. The music of the crushers. Mm. The metal presses and all that. The wonderful joy of living in this base. Game. Come on. Alright. And then all these. And that should do it. Nope. Need steel. 4, 8, 12, 16 should be... No, we just need 12 because we're only making 3. Just like so. Wait, didn't I make some extra radiator blocks by accident at one point? Yeah. So never mind. That can go in logistics. These all go in ingot. You go back here. And that should be the excavator all boxed up. Sweet. Yes. We don't need to turn on the game music. We make our own. All right. And there is a new industry in a box for us. So, how's this doing? That's a still pouring. And I believe that our coal vein is really close by. It's like one of these, isn't it? Yeah. So, it's this chunk right here. So, we haven't spent a lot of uh, space in here, but we already have Utilidor access. And we already have... Uh, and we already have, like, th this is just going to be a nice, easy job, he says, before it inevitably turns into a into an absolute clusterfuck. So let's just... Yeah, I put that into the wrong dang place. Because 
is it is this chunk that it goes into right there so let's start with the excavator yep it it uh it kind of goes with the holy oil you know that the church used to have that we uh that we claimed okay and i think yeah let's let's just take all that out cool and we're also going to need book we're going to need hammer and pause so i know that the output is on the back end here so let's just start it like Let's see here. I think that when it's fully assembled, the, come on. Yeah, it extends out two past here. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we will, let's see here. Okay, so it starts with scaffolding on the lower layer. Uh, no, it's eight long. It is eight long. So one, two, and then one, two, three. One, two, three. That should get it close to the edge of the chunk, but not quite. And I think that for the excavator bucket itself, only the central chunk matters anyway. But I'm just being anal about it because. All right. And then it's one, two. One, two, radiator, one, two. Light and three. Cool. Next level up, redstone heavy. And then we're back to the sheet metal again. And that goes all three layers up. Now, I believe that on the second layer, that's where we have our triple layer of lights. And those go two spaces up. On the other side, we have heavy and that's topped by sheet metal. All the way across. Then over on this side, it is sheet metal, sheet metal. Then it is heavy radiator, radiator. And that should be it, I do believe. Yep, there we go. Now, unfortunately, it's a little bit away from the utility door but not not really problematically so. And in any case, it's only the it's only going to be the crusher that needs to worry about being in line with the utilidor. Now this chunk is already loaded, so I can just use it. Is this chunk loaded? Yeah, this chunk this whole area is loaded already because of the utilidors running around. So I have space to play with. So Let's put a chest on this. And let's right away make a little control system on this. Saying like, um, 
Ah, it needs a pipe. But we'll put the extractor on that side and use that. So, that is going to say when it's going to need pipe wire. That is going to say when contains... Let's be stingy on that one because the excavator, we don't want it filling up super big. Emit blue and when not blue, emit redstone. So that will just have a uh, have a condition on it so that um, so that when this chest is filled up, it will turn the excavator off. Now let's finish off. All right, I forgot the equipment for the for the bucket for the excavator bucket. So that's just a bunch of scaffolding and nine steel blocks. That's not a huge deal. Yeah, we already have a ton of steel blocks. Hell, we could have swung it even before that. But how much scaffolding is that exactly? That is 20 steel scaffolding, which we can also swing. So nothing of importance was missed. What is eating up my inventory space? My spare sheet metal. Which we'll just put away. There we go. Take a drink. I have received assurances from Austin Supercar that... Uh, when we get to thermal engineering, which is not going to be for a while, it's like, uh, it's chapter eight, I think. No, it's chapter nine. When we get to chapter nine, we'll unlock a piece of equipment that will um, basically solve hydration and temperature for us forever. Yep, damn sheet metal. Okay, so let's deconstruct it for now just so that we can... Make sure that we're placing at the exact right spot. And that goes two out. On that side. Two out and block on that side. Two out and block on this side. And two out and block on the bottom side. Just like uh, so. Uh huh. Although, really, real life excavator buckets don't really look like buckets, they look more like gigantic chainsaws. This thing looks far too gentle to be a proper excavator bucket, but so it goes. Real life excavators look frickin' hardcore, man. Alright. And that should do it. So, if I remember where I poked the hole. Yep. Nah. Excavators can't kill you. Not in this game. Uh. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, this, this looks downright gentle, doesn't it? Sure, it's heavy. Sure, it's using lots of power. But it just looks so gentle. Where's the raw, unrelenting force? Where's the horrific ripper? I know, it looks like a water wheel. Shameful display. Shameful display. 
Okay, so now we need the Crucer. And that is the same as it ever were. So output is on this side. We kind of want it facing this way then. So that's going to be lights and scaffoldings on the bottom layer. And just for the sake of sanity, let's kind of... Well, no, that would block off the stairway, wouldn't it? That would be inconvenient. Rude. Yeah, we can jank a little ways with, with the, with the uh, pipe. It's fine. Yeah, right here looks fine to me. No, it's, uh... Yeah, it's like this. Oops. And then it's two down like this. Yeah, that's out of the way. Cool. So then it's up here, over there, I think. And then on this end, it's here and here. Right. Cool. Do I want it facing this way? Eh, sure, it works. It's fine. And then it's going to need... The Crusher not only looks far more deadly, it is far more deadly. And yet this thing runs on practically no power in comparison. And is made much more cheaply. So what, is all the expense of the excavator for the safety equipment? Pa! We don't need no safety equipment. I know. We're just being true to ourselves. Okay. Um, you know what? Yeah. Extraction pipe up there. Let's just do this with a structure pipe. Oh yeah, it's also going to need... We aren't even going to be using it... Uh... We aren't even going to be using it based off of... Off of the chest. Well, we could. We could. But, um, yeah, okay. Is that an ore or an AND gate? That's an AND gate. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay, so, gate on here, any old gate. And give you white wire, because blue wire is what we're going to want to run for our main length. But just give you blue wire, run you over. And down. So you are going to say, when not white signal, send redstone. You are going to be our good old emergency shutoff signal of, if contains 25%, emit white signal. Then you are going to be saying you need at least two pulsers. And you are uh, going to be receiving blue pipe wire. And you're going to be saying when blue signal, pulse the pipe. Next, we just need a bunch of transport pipe. Run you up and over. I said up and over. There we go. And way down over here, we're going to need an extraction pipe down nya. And I guess I'll just use structure pipe. to connect you up there. And you are going to have a gate saying 
that as long as the chest is beneath 75%, emit blue signal. Just like so. And right, I keep on constantly forgetting that the Crusher needs... Um, it doesn't like receiving redstone directly off the gates. I don't know why the Crusher alone is a diva among every IE device. All the other ones are just fine receiving redstone directly off of a buildcraft gate, but not these. I don't know why. But the Crusher just needs to be a little diva. It's fine. So we're just going to need a dot of redstone dust and a piece of... I mean, there are much cheaper devices that still work fine off gates. The metal press works just fine off of gates. So, dot of redstone. Uh, gate. And you are going to say... Let's see here. The condition was less than 75%, right? So you are going to say, when no blue signal, emit redstone. So what this means, and also I then need to run this blue wire over here and down. And now you get a condition saying, when no blue signal, emit redstone. So, when this chest is full, it shuts the excavator off. When this chest is full, it shuts the crusher and the excavator off. As well as the extraction from the excavator's chest. So, the crusher won't have a million items sitting in its inventory, even though that doesn't particularly matter. The crusher will not overflow the box, and the excavator will not be attempting to fill the crusher when the crusher cannot output any more. And that is how that system works. It is simple. It is relatively easy to understand, I think. Hmm? What, this? Yes. It says less than 25% turn on white. And this says when not white, turn on redstone. So in other words, when this chest is more than 25% full, it'll turn the white signal off and that will activate the redstone. So this chest can never be more than a quarter full without, uh, without turning off the excavator. All right, so now we just need to run over all the essentials. So let's decide where we want the power nipple to be. I guess this is... Uh, no, it needs to be down there, doesn't it? Oh, I might have screwed myself over. Yeah, I'm blocking the power line. Shoot. Okay. Well, I guess that we can extract items out the side of this chest. But that does mean that... Uh, Kind of need to run out the utilidor over here. Ooh. Okay, this is really convenient for for the chest, at least. Yeah, we're kind of right on top of it. This is wonderful. Okay, so we're going to be extracting out that side of the chest. And then we just need to run power over. Yep, time for more wonderful tasty jank. You know what? I don't think I'm even going to... Um... Where did my cables go? There they are. Yeah, I don't think I'm even going to like split this thing off anywhere. I'm just going to do it right here. And then I should be able to take a single nipple... 
and just right onto there. Yep. That should be the excavator running. Look at that. All right, but no, that is not good enough because uh, now I need to figure out how to run it over to the cruiser. I guess I can run up here, up there. Hmm. Yeah, God does that pretty often these days. At this point, I just tune him out. If he ever gets mad enough to just start doing something about it, it'll be a red letter day. Okay, and then can I just sneak that around the corner? Probably not. Well, what do you know? All right, so then the question is just, uh... Hmm. No, because then the power cable, or, or the uh, inputs, item inputs over here. Yeah, that's a problem. Okay, so... Hmm... I guess I don't need to put the relay there. So fine. Yeah, so that does need to be there. That absolutely needs to be there. But if we run this down and start getting it ready to get into the pipe, then can we sneak the power cable to the to the cruiser any other way. Hmm. Not really easily. This will definitely be jank. Okay, okay. And then maybe I can... Actually, can I just directly off of there? No, not quite. What the heck? I think I just got hit by a piece of hail. And that broke my helmet. Okay, I'll regard that as God doing something about it. Because, uh, yeah, that's a straight-up assassination attempt right there. Well, he, he should have done it when our audio was gone, so I couldn't hear the clank. All right, new helmet. Yeah, but almost only counts with horseshoes and hand grenades. But yeah, look at that. The excavator... Huh. Yeah, see? This chest is already full up, so, uh... So it's already shut itself off. Alright. Yeah, which I suppose the hail counts as a type of carpet bombing. It's nature's carpet bombing. Okay, that's good. And then we can just kind of half acidly seal this off. No. Hmm. 
there. Really? Well then. Rude. I have never been hit by two pieces of hail in the same storm. <laughs> I know. It's like the game doesn't want me to exploit its natural resources. Three? Wow. Okay, I think we just need to wait for this storm to be over. Because I am being really unlucky with this storm. See? It's like it's aiming for me. God. Okay, I think it's thinning out. Or something. Yeah, it certainly ain't. Well, our next task is we need to go and we need to uh, make some more silos to store our new coal and sulfur. So we'll be in a relatively safe position to be running around for a little while. All right. There we go. And now we need to make some treated wood fences. We already have some in storage. So I should only need to make one craft of it because it makes it five at a time. So then just like that, just like that, and just like that. But yes, I think that we will regard those incidents as an attempt at divine intervention that I just circumvented. God needs to bring his A game. If he wants to get at me. Mm. All right. So then we just need to get 100 sheet metal. Indeed. The only thing that can stop me is my own laziness. Which, to be fair, stops me fairly often. But yeah. Forget this order that I set up. I'm just going to... Uh... Let's just take all these signs off. They don't matter anymore. And let us just lay out things as we automate them. So this one is going to get us coal and sulfur. Both of which are resources that we're going to need quite a lot of in uh, the upcoming chapter. And coal we're going to need, obviously, right now to help us with automating steel. So this is, this is uh, our justification for getting this resource now. For helping us... Uh, for helping us get more infrastructure. And hammer. So that'll probably be the charcoal, and this'll probably be the sulfur. Oops. Still 
haven't quite gotten to how I reconfigured my toolbar. Gotten used to it, I should say. And there's the other 50 sheet metal. Huh. What? Oh, I must have forgot to light something over there. Witches. I just heard a witch cackle and there's a red dot over there. Huh. So there must be an anime character named uh, Caracano or something. That's my only hypothesis. I'm not terribly knowledgeable about anime. I'm afraid I can't help you there. Either that or just a bunch of anime gun nuts are, uh, are giving you some shit there. Okay, so this is going to be another system that we set up just like, um, just like our iron and just like our, just like our other, um, dual resources where we are going to have one of them being the, the, uh, determiner of when the shutoff happens and the other one just being kind of along for the ride. I'm also going to need just a ton of redstone real quick. I should make a brick in the wall somewhere nearby. Like an empty space just so I can pass through. But we'll have that be just uh, this one, I suppose. Six, seven. Yep, that's in line with the others. And that will be a redstone wire connector over there. I'm going to need to make some more redstone wire connectors. And that will be switched to an input on color. Whatever comes after light blue. Yellow. And then just connect the cable right on over. Is it going to dip into the floor? Yeah, it is. Unfortunate. Well, for the sake of pretties, let's just put it in line. Right, so... There. That works. So, remind me, how do I make these red connectors? Huh. Redstone probe connector. Interesting. But yeah, that's just some terracotta and some electrum nuggets. Okay. And just a little bit of clay. A little bit of smelt. A little bit of electrum nugget. Let's see if I just take four of these. Can I just break these down into nuggets by hand or anything? No, not really. Have to do it the smelty way. And... Cool. And there's just a ton of lovely little nuggets for us to use. We're going to need about 30 of them to make... No, wait. We're going to need 15 of them, aren't we? Yeah. Well, we overdid a little. Oh, well. Overdoing is better than under. There we go. And that's 20 more redstone connectors for us. Yep, these things are cheap. Their wire stretches a long way as the wire is cheap. Mm. 
So then, I guess over in our Utilidor, need to figure out how to get a connector like, can I run it just like over here? Shoot. Did I get tagged just now? I don't know if I got tagged or if I caught that angel before he touched me. It takes like a couple of seconds before the teleport happens because of lag. Yup. Shoot, come on. Come on. Okay, cool, cool. Okay. What? No. I put down torches, damn you, Gru. Okay. Okay. We got tagged by a Gru, but we saved it. Now, um... So, where the heck are we? Well, uh, we're quite a ways away. If I look, the Village of Cheese is 46 kilometers away. Yeah, let's just, uh, let's just teleport home, I think. Teleporting is allowed by pack rules. Oh, that's right. I reset my base over to here because I was testing out the blood bank. I wanted to teleport real close to it in order to, uh, see if I could catch it draining. Yes, I know about the water. I'm aware. That's why I was running for here, because of that watering hole. Well, that was a little adventure. That was uh, showing off why we never want to be tagged by weeping angels, ever. Because they will do bullshit like that. So, where is this spawnable spot that I accidentally made? Hmm. Oh, this is the wrong machine area. Hey, Fox. Welcome back. You, uh, you just missed some excitement. You just missed our first encounter with a weeping angel. Well, not our first encounter. Our first, uh, our first case of falling victim to a weeping angel. I barely escaped with my life. Okay. And hopefully that's, uh... Hopefully that is everything resolved there. All spawnable spaces once more unlit. I hope. No, they're down there. Okay, cool. That's where the problem is. That's the problem. Okay, cool. So... I think that in my mussing at the time, I decided that there was going to be a pass-through, like, right here. Maybe. And then can I just not even... Yeah, that works. That looks jank as hell, but that's kind of just our M.O. And then up on here, need my hammer. Now, where was that pass through happening? Right there. Huh. Don't know if that works. Yeah, but we can just uh, then do this. So that's going to be an output on channel yellow. And. Eh. Jank as hell, but I'm being lazy right now. 
and that should have this on the control system. So let's just give that a test real quick. If I take a lever over on our control system, Lazy wiring is what it is, Fox. Lazy ass wiring. It is ass because it is lazy. Okay, so then if I turn this condition just all the way off, then it's still receiving redstone. And... So... 24 and 12 are the last numbers in here. So if I just turn that off for a moment, ah, yep, yep. Okay, control system is working. So then we're back to this. And now we just need to hook up the output line into our storage system, as well as uh, I forgot that I need to hook up the new silos into the storage system as well. Before we got uh, ambushed. So I'm gonna need two diamond pipes, gonna need some clay pipes. And that should be it. Ugh, the lag is real. What the heck? Reload chunks. That's a little bit better. I guess maybe the world is still catching up from that angel attack. Maybe. Yeah, let's, uh, so clay pipes on the bottom here, because again, uh, the way clay pipes work is they will prioritize putting over, uh, they will prioritize putting items into an inventory over putting them into another pipe. So they will prioritize items going into our silos before, uh, before they, um, before they put them into the void pipes. And the reason that we're putting the void on here is because only the coal will be controlling the system. The, the, um, the sulfur will just be left to its own devices. I don't know, man. The Japanese like Italian names every once in a while. That's the only explanation I've got for you. Alrighty then, so. And right, I forgot that I'm going to need a pinch of sulfur to program the pipe. Huh. Okay, so she's like, what, an anime girl that has a gun arm, or she transforms into a gun, or what the heck is going on? Oh, I thought this was still, I didn't understand this yet. Do I have any immediate use for this? Yeah, I could use this for making gunpowder. Hmm. Well, you got me curious. I might just Google up, like, anime Karakano. Karakano. It's Japanese. It'd be pronounced like Karuka-anno or something like that. Karuka-anno or... I, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so now we just need to hook it up to the pipe and get it pulsing. That's also a point where we're going to need to hook it up 
into the red net uh, cabling. So that's going to be a bit awkward. But we'll get there. Now let's just go right over the top here. Uh, I'm just going to accept that I'm going to get a couple of things in my hands. We're going to get a little bit dirty on this one. Oh no, actually, you know what? I can just hook it up right here. Yeah, that works just fine. That's already pre pre sorted in. All right, that works for me. So now it just needs an pulser and gate. No. Where did the gate go? Screw it. Side, please. God damn it. Okay, let me back up to deal with this. Yeah. Okay, Pulsar, get off of that pipe and fall into oblivion, apparently. So, Pulsar up there, and you are going to say, when no redstone signal, pulse the pipe. And I think I'm going to give you a second pulser, just because you are such a special little snowflake. Actually, no. Can I... Is there any way that I could get that secondary extraction pipe going down anywhere? So that I could have one on each type of resource. Yes, with hail. Um, not easily, not easily, but I do think c'est possible. It's going to require changing how this works a little bit. So let's run this on down. Let's interrupt that cable. Ah, sweet. We don't even need to mess with that one. So. Really, I think all I need to do then is uh, then run this up there. No, it does in fact need another relay. Gonna need another relay right here. And that can just go straight up. And you can then go straight over. This wiring becomes increasingly jank. Is it not wonderful? And then we need to swap this for an iron pipe. That is, of course, the exact wrong direction to send that sulfur. That way, please. And then we can just kind of join it over here. Okay, so you can say you will be coal and you will be sulfur. And now we just need to get a gate and pulser on this one. Which I'm just going to pop up to the top side again to make that easier on myself. So, gate and pulser. And you are going to say, while not redstone signal, pulse the pipe. Oh, that's unfortunate. Right. 
Um, I guess you have to say while yes, redstone. Okay, if I turn, if I turn that signal off, is that pulsar going to be working? Is it reading off of um, the red connector and not the? No, it isn't. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, okay. I guess never mind. It just needs to red robin on this, I guess. Yeah, that's how it's going to have to go. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. I guess I can give it more pulsers so it at least operates twice as fast. And then just... Okay, pulsar on there and make sure that it understands to pulse both of them. And now that logic on that one over there needs to be turned off. Well, no, I guess that just as an added bonus, sure. That adds a little bit more extraction speed onto the coal side of this. And I think the coal is the majority. Yeah. Yeah, it's twice as common as the sulfur. Okay. So, now I need to run red cable up onto there somehow. Just get my connectors out again. And I guess Would that position work. That position might work. Um, but then how would I, can I sneak it through there? Yes, I can, cool. And then I guess trying to get it around that corner would be difficult. So let's just run it all the way down here, even though that's gonna look even more jank. Yeah. This area is crowded. And make sure that is an output for channel yellow. Okay, and we can give it a test over here. So, if I hook this up, Make sure that it's set to input on channel yellow. If the game will not lag. Then I should be able to just um, give it a lever. And we will see that when I hit this lever, yeah, pulsar turns off. And the other side is implicitly turned off as well because this lever also shuts off the excavator. Cool. So our control system is working. This entire area is unnecessarily complex, unnecessarily jank. I should have spaced it out more, but it functions and it's entirely automated so we never need to go back into that area. And that is good enough. And 
that can go away. You and you can leave. You I want in there. You I want in there. You I want nowhere. The rest of you I'm going to put away. Oof, the lag is real tonight. I am not entirely sure why our frame rate is getting so bad so quickly. I don't think we have all that many entities racing along in the pipe and, or anything like that. I mean, there's a few. Hmm. What else would be generating lag right now? Is maybe the centrifuge vomiting out a bunch of sand everywhere? No, that's... Why is that stopped? Why is you stop? Hey, you're both stopped. Yeah, you have cobble. Did it just, um... Did it just, like, bug out or something? Like, I've known this system that I built to sometimes fail. Yeah, I guess... I guess the loading system on this needs some debugging. Oh well. You know what, this is running perfectly fine. Instead of... No, then it would... Yeah... Hmm. I don't know, I'll think on that one. I will think on that one. But yeah, that system should be just fine. I don't know, we'll see if it freezes again. Regardless, we now have coal coming on in. And we should already have lots of it building up too. Yeah, look at that. We've got like hundreds of it building up already. So, next step is we're going to need a new smelter. Because we're going to make a dedicated smeltery just for the production of steel. And I guess that I should just pour out some more seer bricks. Yeah. So... That looks like a reasonable amount of cobblestone to turn into seared brick. Nice. You gonna you gonna take the Karakano down to the range and uh, and uh, have some fun with it. Make sure that she's in proper working order. Alrighty then. All right, man. Tell me how fun she is to shoot. She's a classic, so I imagine she'll have a hell of a kick on her, which is always tremendously fun. Alrighty then. So... I think I might actually have enough bricks, but no, I'm going to need, I'm going to want some more. Well, no, I, yeah, I'm, I'm going to want to make a couple of casting tables, I guess. And a casting basin, a casting table, a casting basin, but I am going to need more bricks. Yes. All right. And why did you, and eh, never mind. So I have one furnace in here already for God knows what reason. I am... I think you were the ingredient there. So, da, 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 there's my twine. There's some compressed sticks. So, one, two, three more furnaces. 
lined up and ready. Just going to need all of that wonderful masonry brick. Going to need more than that. Just throw together a couple of stacks of it real quick. It's probably time to pick up some more paste while I'm at it. Yeah, probably because a bunch of them got imported. That's kind of how it goes. Oh, Fox, you're something for you to be jealous of that you now know the full context of. Yep, I just have a chest full of paste. That automatically restocks itself. Pulp that restocks itself. Uh, you may seethe as you wish. You'll get there, man. Just consider that inspiration to, to one day get there, you know? The tech is out there. You will reach it. You just need to... You just need to journey... You just need to journey to it. Okay, so that is going to knee seven, fourteen, twenty-one. I I kind of got over enthusiastic. I guess because I was thinking I needed to make from scratch. Yes. Well, into and beyond, really. All right. Now I'm gonna need a little bit of... Has this melted yet? Cool. Get it a pouring, which it is. How are we doing? That is more than enough brick. So get you paused. Hope that you don't anomalously continue on regardless. Stop you from anomalously continuing on regardless. When I say stop, I want you to stop, damn it. Okay, that's fixed. Now switch it back to blocks. For the sake of making the smeltery bigger. And now we're just going to need a ton of refractory stuff. Which I imagine is also going to make Fox enormously jealous. <laughs> uh, Fox, uh, this one you don't need to feel too terribly jealous about. You're mostly at the point where you can do this already. You're, you're just kind of... Oh, I already have it mostly in stock. Cool. Yeah, because I overmade it the last time I was doing this. But yeah, just uh, get together a couple of stacks of refractory bricks. Yeah, you were drooling over my stacks of charcoal. Now you know what you really should drool over. <laughs> and you are mostly at that point. I believe that with you being at chapter three now, you should have access to most forms of limestone. And uh, really having access to the... Well, the real unlock is when you get up to artisan tables. When you get up to artisan tables, that's when you start making refractory stuff just by the stack, you know? And uh, the chapter that you're on, chapter three. Ah, you've reached that point. Yeah, yeah. That's a tough one. I don't blame you if you just uh, go on the Discord and you look up the guide that we've assembled over time for it. So that's just going to need that many yeah I know I know I know it sucks 
Well, if you... Okay. The reason it just stops working is that the ingot loses temperature. That's why it'll stop working like mid-hammer. And so long as you hammer the ingot the same way every time, if you figure out a pattern that works, then you can just use that pattern over and over again. But yes, there was a reason that I kind of rushed for um rushed for melter so I didn't need to to do the smithing anymore. Okay. Hmm. That's bizarre. Well, when you release when you release that episode, I'll take a look at it and I'll try and see what you're doing. Hey, that's always lovely. That's always fun. Yeah. You know how to avoid getting zapped. That's good, at least. You won't be suffering, um... You won't be suffering poor Riley's fate. I think he's died to wires 80 times, he said. Need a bit of glass. No, not there. There. Yep, he sure did. So we're going to need one casting basin. And I think I'm going to make like two or three casting tables. Three. I'm going to make three casting tables. Okay, I'm going to need two drains. One for using and one for reading with a gate. And then we're on to making the making the controller. All right, let's just take a stack of this over. Okay, and melter. And right, I need to melt some dirt. I forgot about that. Need to melt 12 pieces of dirt. Huh. It has some change in ingots anyway. Why? Why you do this? Okay, now let's see. Will it stop? No, it will not. Hmm. Is it something to do with the tap? Oh, you know what it is. You know what it is. The dang signal down here is stuck on red. It's stuck on on because it's right. So it's acting like it's receiving signal constant. Okay, cool. So I need to change how the output works. I need to put that on a not gate. And that should fix this anomalous behavior. So I'm just going to need some building blocks. I'm going to need a redstone torch, which I should have those in here somewhere. Cool. 
and I'm going to need some more redstone dust. Going to need to put those dang bricks away. You know, I can just put those in the, uh, in here. There we go. Alrighty then, and that... If I can work my way through the spaghetti... So, I just need to take this off. And then I need to... Put an block like over here, like so. And then, and then right there, hook that up to the cable and set you to being on. Uh, On da, 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 where is hammer? Hammer is in bag. Need to be orange output input. Hmm. No, it had to be orange output, right? Okay. How did I hook it up on the top side? Uh. Oh, no, wait, it's the white that needs to be on the knot gate. It's the white that needs to be on the knot gate. The orange was just fine where it was. Okay, so orange output connect right. So that's serving as the locking mechanism right there. And then we run a knot gate over here. Into thar and that is white input, right? And your orange output, right? So then we hook you back up to here. Yeah, okay, cool. Okay, so now, first of all, confirm is stuff in smeltery? Yes. So now, if I turn switch off, then it pours, and it continues pouring because it has pulse, right? Right. Yeah, it's just being slow. Or it's not rendering correctly or what have you. But I turn off, and then it, then it not, and then I... Okay, cool. Why is it so slow, though? Why is it so slow? Hmm. What's going on here? Okay, you're an output on orange. 
What the heck is this behavior? Yeah, it ain't the pouring animation, man. This is behaving unusually. Okay, wait for it to unjank itself. What? What? Okay, that is weird. Is that just block lag? What's going on? Okay, signal on. Okay, so you're a broken circle now. You shouldn't be able to to pulse. Now, if I turn signal off. Why? Why? What the hell is going on? Hmm. Is it this messing it up somehow? Yeah, okay, so that's messing it up somehow. We're creating some sort of loop in the logic somewhere. I don't know. I think I just need to accept its previous form, the jank form. Hmm. Don't know. Let's get it back to the way it was. Because while that was jank, it was functioning. And let's just accept that uh, when we deactivate this, it'll have constant redstone signal. And that's just going to be the way it's going to be. And if we want to stop it, we just need to take the taps all the way off. Regardless. Let's just throw this spare cobble out. And make our controller. Right, also need more brick. And need some blocks. Just grab and stack. Start chiseling it all together. And then... Yeah, I think I'm, I'm not skilled enough in the ways of redstone to recognize what the problem was there. Okay, so next I think we're gonna need a filter. So need to make some pipes. Or rather some bars. Just make as many as that'll give us. Then need four pieces of diamond. 
and a little bit of wool, which I should have in storage somewhere. And make filter. There we go. Okay, now we need to decide on a work site for this smeltery. And I think I'll make it somewhere back here in this area. Like kind of have a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like maybe around here-ish. This one is chunk loaded, right? Yeah, this whole area is chunk loaded, cool. So let's just kind of flatten this out a little bit, make sure that we've got chunk borders on so we can see that we're not uh, going off the reservation entirely. I don't think this will be a terribly large smeltery. This is just, uh, it's for the purposes of alloying, essentially. Three, four. Yeah, we could we could make this stack size if we wanted to. We'll lay it out nice and wide and we'll decide how tall it needs to be later. Uh, okay, so I need to make sure that I keep the area fully lit though. All right. So I had some spare bricks in my inventory for whatever reason. And then might as well chisel these. Just like a so. Okay, cool. So that's our footprint laid out. Now, controller I think will be on the front. Just like right there will do. Tank does not particularly matter. Just over, um, over here, I think. Yeah, that's the closest to the utilidors, I think. And we'll make the functional drain higher up on this side, but it does need a reader drain over here. Oops. There we go, and now we can just kind of expand it up as high as we can build it. Which might just be one or two layers. Oops. There we go, god damn it. Get up on top, easier that way. Building with really heavy blocks kinda sucks. And yet, I think just one more layer is as high as we'll be able to build this for now. And we'll put the final drain just right here. And then light her up. Uh, 
unfortunate, but I think that should become unspawnable once we put some liquid in this thing. I think, anyway. So, in the meantime, let's turn it daytime. And, uh, yeah, let's just get an... Oh, I picked up some artisan tools from one of my tables. And we have a monster on our base. The heck? Did, did I just hallucinate that? Did that zombie just like... Well. Whatever the heck was going on there, it's resolved now. The zombies have realized they pose no physical threat, so they're trying to pose a mental one. It spawned on the cable? Did I... Oh, I forgot to light up that floating platform, didn't I? Seems like I always do that. There. Problem resolved. We don't want a single space spawnable anywhere in or near our base. Because all it takes is one Enderman to spawn. And they will just telefrag us. And that's a life lost. So, 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 so. Get my thoughts back together. Uh, right, I stole some artisan tools by mistake. There we go. I guess these can... Oh, I had some bars in storage already. Well, I'll forget about them the next time it comes time to make a filter too, I'm sure. You get in there. Um, you, I'll just store like, I'll store you in here for the next time I make a smelter. I'm gonna need these to put away. I'm gonna need a bunch of logistics pipe, a little bit of fluid pipe. And I'm pretty much out of gold, aren't I? No, wait, I, I put some gold in here, didn't I? I thought I put gold in there to use. Well, regardless, two more stacks of transport pipe should be helpful. Well, just one more stack, still helpful. We don't really need to move this far. So we're gonna make two buffer chests. One for iron, one for one for uh, coal, not charcoal, tempting as it is to stay, because of habit. So, I can lay these out like so, and like, so, and I right, I'm gonna need a uh, clay pipe. Because we're going to attempt to load this thing up to ratio using the same mechanics I figured out for the, for the, um, for the assembler over as part of the, um, as part of the mechanical artisan. So extraction pipe there, extraction pipe there. You are going to need a couple of gates. So, these and these, we're going to need pipe wire. Uh, 
So we're gonna say that when you contain less than 50% emit blue, we're also gonna say that when the fluid tank contains less than 50% emit blue. And then the pulsers on these we'll figure out in a moment because we it's time to just run resources over. Right. So first of all, let's just get some chests on the front side of the, actually, yeah, we want them on the front side. So we need some blocks of redstone to get them auto ejecting into chests. Just put those right over the void pipes, why not? And yeah, we might as well do both while we're in the zone. So there and there, that'll start loading those chests up. And immediately we're just gonna come on down the bottom side and start running that coal out as well as from the iron, from the iron over there, way on downtown. And just so that we can find them easier, I'm gonna put the extraction pipes on there. It shouldn't matter much because these are directly next to clay pipes. Okay. Ugh. Am I carrying any tinder with me? Yeah. Keep me up, tinder. I go on tinder when I want to get hot. You know how it goes, I'm sure. Okay. And we're probably going to have to kind of just jank these around a little bit. in order to get them to where they need to go. Yeah, we just need to, we just need to abuse the plugs. God, first I'm getting on Tinder, then I'm abusing my plugs. What a wonderfully decadent life we live. Okay, so obviously this line is just going to go down to this box because that box will be closer to the iron over on that side. We're making a little pasta right here. Making this a little bit more al dente than it already is. And isn't that just a wonderful, wonderful hobby to have? Not there. Let's not break the water line too badly. Just like right there. Yep. Run her over. Run her across. And there's connection. Now that is gonna need gate, that is gonna need pipe wire. The usual jazz. We are gonna need way more pipe wire than that. We might need more pipe than this. It might be time to go and uh, farm up some more gold. So 
So I don't think I'm going to get this chest terribly full. Just going to say 25% emit blue. Actually, no, this is the this is the coal chest. We want that one to be pretty full, I think. Because it's going to chew through coal. At least while it's pressurizing. Dang pipe wire. Should just cut those trees down so I could run across the top of the wire over here. But eh, I'm I'm uh I'm stubbornly dedicated to it now. There we go. And yeah, I am gonna need more cable. We always need more cable. All right, well. Right, this one is closed. I should just get rid of that because I accidentally closed that one over. He says and then promptly does not do because he's busy with something else and he's already been sidetracked a million times today. Do I have any more gold blocks in storage? No. Okay, and now... Just over on down the line. And onto there. So give you pulsar, give you gate, say gate when blue on uh, pulse. And that should start loading coal into our system. Delicious, tasty, nutritious coal. Now the iron line is going to be much more of a jank. Because it really is going through a high traffic area. So get out these. So cut that out. Cut that out. Down on there. There. Plug there. Over there. Plug there. Plug there. This area is getting harder and harder to navigate. And it's only going to get worse. Okay, now... We can just kind of... Eh, let's just run it over the top. Wait. No, hypothermia does not cause damage to my armor. I thought it did for a moment. Yeah. They're tiny hands to reach into all the delicate machinery. Uh, if only. I mean, we're in the Industrial Revolution era of technology. 
thematically speaking. You'd think it would be an option. There's even that Norman village over there to recruit them from, but it's just not to be. It's just not what... It's just not allowed by the game rules, unfortunately. Okay. So, on down that one goes. And yeah, I am definitely going to need more gold. I mean, technically I could make my transport pipes out of cobblestone, but they move so much slower and they look ugly as hell. These are all swanky in gold. We have to use them. Alrighty then. So, get on you. On less than 25%, emit blue. Because we don't need to load you up with a super amount. And remember, a quarter of a chest is still quite a lot. And run it over down the line you go, get in there. Really, you can't cross over? Ah, you can. Cool. At least it's easy to tell which pipe we're working on because it's the only one that's, you know, got a lit signal on it. Come on. Okay, and you can say gate, and I think I accidentally separated my pulsers out into two sacks for some reason. But you say wind blue signal, pulse pipe, and that's iron being loaded. And now we need to run the lava over into the system. And I don't think I'm going to run a full Utilidor line. I'm just going to run like a service tunnel off of the Utilidor over to it. So it's like right over here, isn't it? Where I put it. Come on, game. Okay, so, of course, it's no convenient path. And, of course, it's all through sand. But, yep, that is tank right there. Cool. And, yeah, we are going to need way more fluid pipe. Just put torch here. That is not the right pipe. And... Oh, it's so close, though. So close, but no cigar. Hmm. 
It is annoying not having gold on excavator just yet. Do I have any more in storage? I've got a little. I mean, it's on the list of things to excavate. It's just kind of not an immediate priority just yet, you know? Not as much as the things I need to complete the next big project. But yeah, I know that we're lingering for a long time without any quest project, pro any quest progress. But um, I'm doing that because, you know, I need to get all my resources together. And hopefully, once we do reach the point that I start progressing again, we're going to progress pretty quickly for a good long time because I'll have done all this work. You know? Okay. I mean, yeah, we make infrastructure progress every stream. We build new infrastructure and stuff, but it's been a while since I've completed, you know, quests. And I could complete this pretty darn easily. This is just some redstone and some electrotine. All I need to do is go and put an excavator on Kimberlite to get the electrotine. Maybe if I felt really, if I, if I really had my druthers, I'd put the excavator back on the redstone again for that. And, uh, yeah, then we would just, we would have those. I think I'm going to turn nothing off. Yeah, nothing. Our storage is pretty good at the moment. Our nickel is growing up, but it'll do that. Okay, so. Yeah, that's still going to be a little while. So, so, so. Ah, yes. And we definitely want to put pollution filter on this right away. I think I can just put chimney right here. And that should work. Smelteries are somewhat finicky, somewhat buggy about where they will and will not accept chimneys. So always be sure to test them and make sure that your chimneys are emitting particles. Let's just take a piece of iron and uh, put that in there. Yep, okay, cool. And yeah, that's right. We're gonna need to run the, um, the wool line down here too. So it is time to go and get some more gold. Time to go and get just a little more gold. I don't think I'm going to raid a cargo ship. The, um... There's some other ships that have just some, like, gold in them. Let's see here. You... You can go away. You go in there. Uh, I guess that... You, I'll just store in here temporarily. Just keep my inventory as clean as possible. Cool. Well, that that's why I specifically said, I'm sorry, we've not made quest progress, you know? Okay, and I need to remember that before I get back into the base, I need to put the electricity suit back on. We will not die to shocky, stupid death again. Hello. Spawnable space down there? Huh. I swear, this liquid... Liquid dynamics are, uh, awkward. Come on, let me up. There we go. But yeah, this ship should have some gold in it somewhere. And not just a bunch of low-tier reward chests. Hmm. 
Let's see here. Yeah, there we go. Yep, this is just, uh, this is chiseled gold. Did I lose one to the sea? Meh. Keep it daytime. But yeah, there, there definitely is a part of me that feels bad for not doing a quest in what? Probably 10 episodes now? Maybe longer than that? I do feel a little bit bad about it. But as you say, Devin, we are still making progress, just not quest progress. All right. And now, do not die to zappy death. It can be done. I can be taught. Through extreme pain. Do I have any spare slots in any of my bags? I wish I had open blocks elevators. That would make this so much better. Okay. And back to construction mode we go. Let's see here. Did I have anything else that I put away into that bag? I don't think so. I guess let's just not even bother chunking them up. Let's just go right to melting them. Get you on pulse. And make us some pipes. We're also going to need a bit of white pipe wire because we're running the wool line down. How is our wool store doing anyway? Well, would you look at that? 20,000 wool. That's not the only thing we have 20,000 of, though. We have 40,000 cobblestone. We have... Um, and, and yes, that is the holding limit of a silo, is 41,472. We have 14,000 iron, 30,000 nickel, 20,000 copper. We, we've got some good stocks of the stuff that we've put excavators on. All right, have I got gold yet? Looks like I do. Thank you. And let's just make, get some glass out of storage. And let's just make a whole ton of pipes. Now, of course they could be higher. They can always be higher. But most of them, I think I'm actually, I've actually stopped a good deal of them from getting higher for the moment, simply because um, they're at the point where the silos would be automatically shutting off anyway. Like copper, I've I've shut off the feed, even though copper extraction is still happening, just because the way I, I set that up, you know. But um, so then the copper pipe goes down here, yeah. So that is gonna need a plug there, a plug there, and a plug there. 
but otherwise it should be okay. So how are you keeping up? You keep up. Did this stop again? Yeah, you look like you stopped. Okay. So I need to investigate how this how this mechanism is working in the meantime. We're just going to say instead of single pulse pulse the pipe and we'll see if that fixes it. Well, I mean of course that'll fix it because now it'll only shut off when Okay, so we'll say when off pulse the pipe. So when output is... No, I could invert the behavior on this one. So that, yeah. So that when items in inventory, blue signal. And then... Okay. So then if the output is ever empty, it'll... It'll pulse the pipe a few times. That is... Probably slow. Yeah, because now it'll it'll say um wait what? Oh, it's still empty. Wait, what? Space in inventory. I said items in inventory. Yeah, there we go. So that just loads up several. And then that'll be like Okay, cool. Hmm. It's still kind of... Yeah. It's a constant load, which is what I didn't want. I wanted it to just keep it stocked at a certain level. But I guess that's just what we're going to go with, and I'll debug it on my own damn time. That's not building any new infrastructure. That's just... That's just something I'll do in my test world. Regardless. Regardless. So, we need to run the wool line over here. So, it looks like we can just kind of duck under here. Hmm. You know what? Let's pass under, just so that we aren't blocking the walkway. So, I'm going to need to make some more pipe plugs, it's looking like. That's just cobble and gravel, right? Yeah. Well, it, it, it's just structure pipes. Which I have some spare structure pipes. Okay, more pipe plug, please. It is going to be time to make some more tools for that artisan table pretty soon. Okay, so we're running under, so that means we're also going to need a plug on the underside. Just like so. And we're going to be running white wire down that too. We might as well do that while we're in the area. There we go. Ah. That's right. I need to make a split here. So we're going to need gates and we're going to need extraction pipes. We're going to need pulsers. So we make a chest right here. So it's going to need extraction pipe there, extraction pipe there. You are going to say... On white signal, um, pulse the pipe. You 
you are also going to say on white signal pulse the pipe because that is just how this pipe works. And you are going to say when inventory less than 50% full, white pipe signal to summon wool. Okay, cool. And then we're just back to laying some more pipe. But yes, that's how you make a splitter the build craft way. Okay. And yep, I think I can just run that right on over. A lot of pipe. Yup, yup. Way too much a lot of pipe. Okay, and we're gonna need to Run it like all the way over here. And I don't think I'm going to, yeah, this is a relatively short line that we're doing off the last split. So I'm just gonna say, put the control on that one to 25, just cause it's a single stack. And uh, then we'll just, um, we'll have that going off directly. Yep. And I don't need to really light this area because the pipe will be blocking everything. So let's just run the pipe while we're in the area. Up we go. So you... On inventory less than 25%, emit pipe signal. And on down the line we go. I think I can just kind of get it onto the side, even though it wastes a bit of pipe wire. Good thing I brought extra. And there's signal. And it's summoning wool. All we need to do now is make sure that's not overflowing that wooden hopper. Which it won't be doing for a little while. Let's uh, crawl back into the utilidors, pick up like a stack or two of wool. Oh, I can't open that chest. Never mind. We'll just let the system be. We'll trust our instincts. Hmm, neat. We got a couple of stacks of uh, our side products here. Most importantly, we've got a couple of. Wait. Oh, that needs a pipe plug somewhere on it. Yeah, it needs a pipe plug right there. Silly me. Well, good thing that we wanted to check in on it and we caught that. Yep. Now it'll just be, it'll over time chew that down into, into little chunks for us. Okay, and now we just need to 
Remember this time to make the damn extractor on the damn pollution filter. Like so. And I think I'll put a block on top of it just in case it, like, it generates a pollution block on the tick that it's extracting. Just to block it from moving for just that hair of a second it'll need. And that should do it for all the supply. Now, we simply need to clean out all the bullshit in our inventory from digging up sand. And we need to figure out the logic on this system. So. So, so, so. We have a blue signal coming off here that is telling us that uh, the smeltery is not full. And I think that the pulsar over here on the, uh, that's the coal line pulsar on the iron line. So. Gonna need one more gate like. Can I sneak it on to. I might need to get under it. Just because I can't seem to access the side in the smeltery. So. I'm gonna need another color of pipe. Like, say, all this white pipe I have in my storage system still. And we'll just run that over the top. Easier. And you are going to say, when item traversing, emit white signal. And you, down on this end, I think you are going to need our very first gold gate. The thing that's special about gold gates? You have up to eight conditions you can set on them. Yep. And you are going to say, win white signal. Then pulse four times. Yep. There's a reason those gates are expensive. They allow you to do the really intensive logic. And meanwhile, you are just going to say, wind blue signal, pulse the pipe. And I think that in recognition of the fact that it's loading up a lot of coal, I'm gonna make the solid filter one quarter. It's really the liquid filter that's important here. So. Once it's full, one quarter full of iron, it then should be filtering in enough coal to fill it the rest of the way to proper ratio. But yeah, see, it should be remembering how many times this white signal has pulsed and sending out four coal every time it pulses. So let's see when the blue signal turns off, which it should do pretty shortly. Oh, shoot. Right, okay, I need a third color of pipe. I need a third color of pipe. Um, I don't have any on me. Wait, I can just do that off of this, can't I? Yeah, okay, so this is an AND gate. Uh, I can just take the condition off here and make the AND right there. Yeah, and that will limit it. That will limit it more properly. Cool. Yeah, I built the smeltery kind of freaking huge, didn't I? Hmm. Maybe if I can fit a second pulsar on this anywhere. 
just to speed it up a little bit. And da, 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 da. where are my pulsars? They are in there. I can split the workload between the two pulsars. Just single pulse, single pulse there. So we're essentially just going to wait for this thing to fill up. You know, let's set that to um, quarter full. It should already be should already be reporting quarter full. Hmm. It's really close to it, if not. Yeah, that is on the south side, right? Right. <laughs> block it right now just to test if it's producing to ratio it's not producing to ratio oh no wait it just hasn't melted all the iron yet and it is going to be pulsing for a good long time yeah So yeah, you are you are definitely over 25% full at this point. So what is your major malfunction? I don't know. I just don't know. Hmm. Is it because it's not directly facing it? That shouldn't be the case. Is it because you're not a liquid pipe or a structural pipe? That shouldn't be the case. Okay, we haven't missed any pollution yet at least. You are pulsing out a lot of coal. It does only take, like, a, the amount that I get... Oh. Do I get more out of... I do. Okay. It only needs to pulse twice. I did not know that. I should have checked. So it, it did only need a uh, an iron gate after all. But this is good for showing off the... Uh, for showing off the, um, the the gold gates, at least. We'll just keep that on there. Indeed, I know. So that's 19 blocks and 400 and... Oh, 19 buckets, derp. Yeah, I don't know how much... You know, let's... let's um, Let's take this pulser off. Let's take that. That pulser's already stopped. Okay, cool. And uh, yeah, let's um, let's reset the smeltery. Waste a little bit of resources, but oh well. And let's check our logic again. So 
So that looks like it loaded... That must have loaded 10 coal for 5 iron. Yeah, that's to ratio. If the... Uh, if it wasn't lying to me. Yep, it it did indeed load it to ratio. Okay, so now all I need to do is figure out what's up with the liquid controls here. So... Fluid in tank. Is that reading properly? No, it is not. So what's going on? Hmm. Okay, let's... See if we can get the gate facing just into it. What did I do on the old iron smeltery that was different? What was different about it? Because it's being properly limited by liquid, too. Hmm. Yeah. The only thing I can think is that it's directly facing into the pipe. Or into the drain, I should say. Hmm. Okay, so if I... Temporarily deconstruct these. I can then move a gate onto this side. And then... Let's put you there as a temporary construction block. You... And you... Okay, so now... You should be able to read, right? Yeah, fluid in tank is reading. Tank empty is not. Okay. I think that is now reading properly. So, emit white signal. Oh, no, no, wait. It needs to be an AND gate. So, not emit white signal. It's um, when that AND when blue signal pulse pipe. And I think I accidentally loaded in, like, an additional piece of coal from something somewhere. So we need to just give it a piece of iron to manually balance it out. Okay, and we'll see if that's working. We'll see if that loads it up to bear. Now, meanwhile, while that's filling up, we're going to need to create a, uh, we're going to need to create a fluid extraction pipe over here, along with just some more fluid pipe. Just make a bit. And, you know, I think I'm going to need some more hoppers. Yeah, I'm going to need more wooden hoppers. One moment. So we're going to need glue. We're going to need tool rods. Tier twos. 
We're gonna need wood. I said we're gonna need wood. And then we're gonna need our chests. Let's just convert all of them as I tend to do. And then forget that we don't have chests in our storage as I tend to do. Until it becomes a problem as it tends to do. Now, there is one thing that I need to do here, and that's that, um, first, I need to manually extract a little bit of liquid steel into a bucket so that I can filter the pipe. So, just take my bucket here, take a casting table. And we should be able to just take out extraction pipe just like that. Make sure it is set to steel. Put bucket in casting table. Put down tinder before I start freezing to death. And give it a quick pulse. Okay. And that should mean we now have a bucket of steel, which we can then hopefully use to filter. Yeah, okay, cool. Yep, I'll just attribute that to another attempt from God. He's rather bad at it, really. Okay. And now we can run the line down, and we should see that it continues to extract steel when we pulse it. Oops. But conversely, we should see that uh, it does not extract anything else. Yeah. And because we're hopefully loading this to ratio, then eventually, no matter how it's loaded, eventually there will only be steel in the tank. So, the system should eventually reach casting tables, no matter what happens. So, we're just going to get one more space out. So, first of all, we're going to have the casting basin just right here. And we're just going to put a hopper on that. And that is all we're going to do. We're going to let that just have a stack of steel blocks in it. Because roughly a stack of steel blocks is what you need to make a diesel engine. And that's about how much I'd like to store. However, steel ingots. Those have uses for auto crafting. So we're going to run those all the way over to our tables or all the way over to our silo. And I think I already have a silo set up for it, don't I? Shoot, not there. Not there. Not there. There. I need some ingot casts. Yes, we should see that eventually, if I leave the pulser on, eventually all this coal will be spent because it'll be alloyed with the iron. Oh, it even just goes for steel by default. Cool. But yeah, because this pipe is filtered, it will only extract liquid steel.
And let's just make a couple of ingot casts real quick. Three, three aluminum bronze. Which I can start spending aluminum bronze just because I have aluminum to spare now. And do I have some bricks or something to replace those with? Oh, shoot. Right, I left the damn lever on. Oops. Well, can we melt these blank casts or do I have to use them for something? I have to use them for something. Oh, well. We'll just put those over in miscellany. We'll make like some armor add-ons out of them or something. There we go. System restored. So we just run these on over into, um, no, I don't think I'm even gonna bother with a chest. Just gonna dupe, dupe, and dupe. And then we'll extract right off of here. So, remind me, A, where is the steel silo? It's way on down over there, of course. And B, is the steel silo programmed? So it's like the third in line, isn't it? Uh, that's nickel. That's steel, cool. So then, if steel is right there, then yeah, I just need to, I need to create a join for this, like, right here. Get the wrench at ready. I mean, yep, right there. And there. And then we can start running transport pipe. Just this and way. Increase the spaghettification of the base yet more. It is never al dente enough. Okay, and yeah, we're going to have to run it completely spaghetti ways. Okay, and we'll put an extractor on that end. We also need to remember to actually give it the ingot casts. There we go. Why you know you should not be infected with anything. Are you just not receiving liquid steel down that far? What's going on? We're getting some bizarre flow right now. How you doing? Hmm. 
interesting. Very interesting. I guess it's just not producing fast enough to provide to... Uh, Yeah. Okay, well, no, that now it's Oh, it was just a render error because it wasn't filling this up. It was all being sucked into the casting basin rather than getting to the third casting table. Okay, it was just a render error. It wasn't a uh technology error, shall we say. Okay. So this is going to need an extraction pipe right here and just run it on down. Actually, let's let's get it down a level so I can stand on it to program it more easily. Because yeah, trying to Trying to program pipes and run pipes wire while you're bobbing up and down in the water is just hell. So, you are going to have blue wire on you. No, actually, you aren't. Yeah, you are going to be controlled by a redstone condition. So, you're going to say, when redstone off, pulse the pipe. But we won't program you yet because we need to finish running pipe over. Yes, but silly me. This won't be running on pipe wire. This will be running off of a uh, redstone redstone wire because it is hooked up to a silo and the silos are stubborn like that. Okay, sweet. And now we can say, so long as you don't have redstone signal, pulse the pipe. And look at that, we have automated steel. Coming on in, and let's just wait until we see the first one reach the silo. There we go. Isn't that a beautiful sight? Glorious, tasty steel. Okay, so now we need to once again expand the redstone control line. Just right here. And don't forget our cable. Schmear and Schmear. And you are going to be... Mm-hmm. Just seeing that number going up and we're not doing anything about it. It's just going up all on its own. Mm. Makes certain other things start rising up on their own, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Okay. And Hamar, this will be a input to whatever the next channel is after yellow. Lime. Oh, did I catch you with pitch perfect timing there? Hello, Fox. Welcome back. We've finished automating steel. Okay. Just right there. And yeah, um, so what all these lines are is once I build comparators, which I can do now, I have automated sand, I have automated coal. I can make comparators now. Um, that is a lighting error. Yeah, if I take this redstone block off, then their quote unquote color stops appearing. That is just a, an error with the lighting engine. Um, but yes, 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 yes. Um, white bag, one of my last levers. I should have picked up more of the ship. But just for testing purposes, let's give you signal. And then I think I can just more or less kind of 
run this almost um, like callously down there. So you're just going to be an output onto Lime and then just do. Aw. Okay. Okay, it's not quite that simple. Ah. Okay. Hmm. There we go. Jank as hell. I love it. Episode 14 already? Dang, man. You have so much recording time. I am jealous. All right. And yeah, that is working exactly like we hoped it would. So then I can just turn this off. And that turns the extraction pulser back on. Great. Yeah, these JBTA streams that I do... These are literally all the time I have to record at all. All my other time is like, uh, it's in my test worlds and it's in, and it's in editing syrup leaf. But for playing JBTA, I only get a couple hours a day where I can actually record. So, uh, yeah, you might, uh, you might eventually pass me up simply because you have much more time where you can actually film. So uh, you have that on your list of goals, I suppose. Surpass me. Okay, let's just keep a stack of transport pipe in there. Stack of those, stack of those. Eventually chest in there too. Our pipe wire goes in there. Just a stack of white. Hmm. And then we can just sort away all this, all that. All right, the pipe plugs. All righty then. And with that, we've got everything squirreled away, I think. Bah, never say never. JBT is a long damn pack. We're going to be at this for a while. you got plenty of time to catch up. you got plenty of time. So... We now have a system, not terribly quickly, but constantly producing steel for us. And it is going to stock up blocks of steel, as well as keep our stock of ingots nice and steadily full. And I am pleased with this system. It is working spectacularly. And the pollution is even automatically handled forever. Yeah, yeah. This is what having proper infrastructure looks like, I think. So, with this, we shouldn't have any trouble expanding our infrastructure, building that second diesel engine, and then going on to build the base bigger. And yeah, I think that... Um, I think that even though we built a whole other excavator, just the fact it's running kind of slowly because it's very limited by its extraction speed should mean that um, our copper excavator... Wait, why have you stopped? Why do you keep on getting disconnected? What the hell is going on over here? Okay, this is... Um, this is a system I think I need to fix. Let's try... 
I think it might not like being run along the ground like it is. So let's try this and then this. And then let's see if that keeps it connected. Because, yeah, I cannot afford any time without this running. This is precious, precious copper that we're losing. Every second that excavator is not running is a second that might cost me another copper ore. And in the long run, heaven knows how much copper we're going to need. But yes, you can see that this is still running fairly smoothly, despite the fact that I think we're running iron right now, we're running copper right now, we're uh, running coal right now, but all those other excavators, all those other excavators, you see how rarely they run because of the way that the control system is set up? Our iron excavator, you saw it just kind of fart on for just a moment, and it did that, and duck. That's all the excavator needs to run in order to keep the iron smeltery stocked. Um, because essentially our extraction rate is very low. We only have a single pulsar pipe on all these. But that just means that we have a steady drip feed of all these resources and we can keep the copper pipe running. And I don't think in the scheme of things, this isn't exactly all that slow, really. Like, this is a nice, steady stream. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, I am rambling because I am tired. It is time to wrap up. It is a time. Wait. Why you know? Why you, why you know? What what happened? What happened? Did I? Yeah, you're pulsing the white. You don't have coal. Why don't you have coal? There's no way you should be out of coal already. So what's wrong with the coal extraction? Oh. Round robin round robin works stupidly. Okay. Okay, we can't have that on round robin. Hmm. We can't have that on round robin. You know what I think I'm going to do is... No, because that's not redstone controlled. What I could do is I could set that to filter to sulfur instead of coal. just to ensure that it is occasionally extracting sulfur. You can go. Where's all the, uh, all the sulfur is in the box, of course. Okay. Yeah, let's just have that set to, instead of just coal, sulfur. And yeah, we'll, we'll have that also extracting both. Hmm. Well, we'll see if that jams again. We will see if that jams again. And that has restored the rightful order to the world, though. That has started uh, running the steel smeltery again. And it should remember all the pulses, so it'll still load it to ratio. It'll just take a little while to eat all the iron down. That did look like the... Um, 
like the limiting logic on being full of liquid was working, though. In any case, in any case, yes. We have auto steel. We have auto coal. We are ready to expand the base. We are ready to build that second diesel generator. So, I don't think I really have any projects between this episode and next. I might continue experimenting, trying to get the bloodline working properly. Because, well, okay. I guess in all this time we've been farting around, it might... I don't know if that's because it's working or because we wandered close enough to chunk load it. But I, I might just replace the um, immersive engineering pipe that it's using right now with um, with a proper buildcraft fluid pipe. That would be a lot of gold. That'll wait until I have gold. Yeah. So yeah, I don't have anything to do between episodes. And I guess in the meantime, Fox Blood Devon, thank you for joining me. Thank you for keeping me company. You know, I, I, I think this stream was maybe a little bit boring because it was just, uh, it, it was just making more stuff. But we have our first automated alloy and we are ready to build some more heavy machinery. So thank you for joining me. I'll see you all in the next time. Have yourself a beautiful day. Have yourself a lovely evening. And Fox, I'm going to keep watching your videos because you are doing well, my friend. Have a good day.